episode number 388. I'm the consultant here. I'm the advisor. I'm the one that's giving the value. I'm sharing what needs to be done in order to do this process. So for me to now give this client that homework assignment, have them go out and do this first Mm. and then come back to me, say, hey, I did it. What's the next steps? I just completely skipped the whole RFP nonsense, right. saved me weeks and weeks of my life from endless typing for nonsense, right. and now I'm just getting right into the process of doing my job. Welcome to the Be Real Show with Travis Too Tall and Hoff, where we talk about life, dreams, social media, and business. Well, hello and welcome to the B-Real Show with Travis, Too Tall and Huff. Folks, you know your boy is always ready to be real. And after I think this show, uh, we found someone that has a, a focus on being real, not only in the reviews, but in the copyright and the ads, the content that, that people put out. And he built a platform around this, uh, you know, built for agencies, helping manage their, their clients, dude. This is an incredible platform. It's called Trust scout.io we have mr adam o'leary on the line adam are you ready to be real travis i I am ready (laughs) let's go (laughs) so take me back into your history are you a coder are you how did you how did you develop this company what how did you uh, come up with this idea i love it no i have absolutely no coding skills i couldn't even tell you what type of code code is i have absolutely no idea all i know is that so for me my background is I've run an agency for the past five years. Um, and inside this agency, we've worked early with software. It's been my biggest focus working with SaaS solutions uh, and being able to help them scale their company. up. So typically, I would look for companies that are doing anywhere between one to five million a year and be able to help them kind of growth and acquire additional clients. Uh, what ended up happening is we are working with a, uh, a kind of a select few clients, I guess. And when I say select few, the reason I say that is because we ended up starting to turn around. We, we, we were turning away 80 to 85% of any of the prospects that we actually had that were, were trying to work with us. Wow. Uh, and it was strictly due to the fact that we're copywriters and we create sales funnels. Right. So the easiest way to write copy and build sales funnels is for companies to have ample amount of proof, have ample amount of case studies, have people saying good things about their business. Right. And we had businesses approaching us that had tens of thousands of users, but not even a single good thing said about their company. Right. We were like, guys, we can't, we can't do anything. For Hard you. to leverage how, that. how are we supposed to do? Exactly. So what ended up happening is we were turning them away and saying, hey, go ahead, go get yourself uh, a bunch of reviews. Like this is the types of reviews that we need. And then come back to us once you have it. Right. And as an agency, it was kind of painful because you're turning away free cash flow. You know? I mean, we charge anywhere between 10, 50 a month for us to run the service. So you're running, you're turning away a lot of cash. Right. Um, but once we started telling them, go get these reviews, uh, it was like as if we cast them away forever because they never came back. They never just took the minor steps to just do the little thing that we needed to make them a bunch of money. Right. And it was driving us insane. So for us, we ended up building Trustscout basically out of a need. Uh, and what we kind of refer to it as an irresistible front end agency service. Mm. Uh, and this was the key for us, an irresistible mm. service that was just like mind bogglingly good. So what we would do is instead of now turning away clients and saying, hey, go do this for you or trying to even sell our service of saying like, hey, guess what? We have we have the best agency service. We can convert more leads. We can generate more sales. Instead, we were saying, Hey, hey, company or whatever, um, what we need you to do before we start working together is I need you to take this link and I just need you to send off this email to your, 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 your clients that you have and have them say this, this, and this. And, and that was it. We had them basically take that link, send it off. And once we had them send it off, now they had all those reviews right inside of the dashboard mm. where we were able to then go and we already started the relationship right there. So it was an irresistible offer right. that basically got our foot in the door where we were guaranteed to get this 10 to 50K contract in the back end because they've already worked with us. Got you. Love it. So then what did it, was it always physically text? And then at what point did it transition mostly to video now? Yeah. So we started asking them just, hey, send off emails and get written reviews. Uh, I just have people write good things about you. Right. Uh, that led to 
blank company is amazing. Love them. Uh, yes, which was right. completely useless. There was <laughs> there just like super, like super that. bland reviews, yeah. like super, super exactly. generic, generic exactly. simple reviews. Yeah. So once we did that and they were so generic, we were like, okay, let's try to switch this a little bit. So we did it as video. And when we had them send off that link to capture video reviews, people were now just talking for 30 seconds to two minutes about all of the details and all of the intricacies that they loved about the company. Right. So now we can actually use those video reviews as well as pull snippets out of those videos to put into text that we otherwise wouldn't be able to do. So for gotcha. us, it became an absolute gold mine because now we went from having absolutely no copy to now having 50, 200, 500 videos that wow. we could just pull snippets from and be able to build into our copy. Wow. So it was, it was a content genius uh, machine, if you want to call it for you, because you give them, you give them the link. Now, all of a sudden from, they're going from, you know, Hey, uh, T hubs great to Travis is an awesome <laughs> podcast host. And I love being on his show. And you know what? He, we had a hell of a time. In fact, he made me cry because we talked about something. And <laughs> You know, you know, you know what I mean? Travis, stop making people cry. God dang it, Tino. <laughs> stop making people cry, man. Stop making people cry. Um, but I actually, I would cry too. I cry all the time on the show. Uh, have little moments of, you know, things you think about, things like that. Uh, things, Absolutely. Actually, moments between two folks that we know we shared some commonality on a story, a subject, et cetera. <laughs> but dude, I love this because it's so, it, it is so simple. If you go to the website, very simple to use. You guys, in fact, have a, uh, I believe, a free uh, trial free trial, five yep. minutes setup, Absolutely. guys, five minutes setup. And, yep. uh, you know, now you're at, at scale, you're able to help capture videos, which I think are one of the most important, uh, not only pieces of, uh, content, you know, to, to, to reuse, but like you said, then you can actually take some of these, uh, you know, the content and actually put it in physical copy or other things that might lay on your website or might lay on a landing page and things like that, that you wouldn't have had before, which you need true testimonials. You don't just want to write a bunch of bullshit. You know, Absolutely. that's the biggest problem you have in anything in marketing. I swear to God, I've heard this time and time again with having a social media agency. I get a request. Hey, dude, we want to get 50,000 Twitter uh, uh, followers. Okay. Do you want to buy them on the, from India? Um, no, we want them to be organic. Okay. Do you have five years? Um, no, we want them <laughs> next month. Okay. Do you have $5 million? <laughs> No, <laughs> we have $50. Well, you can go to Fiverr and buy them for $50. <laughs> I don't know what your option is going to be. So it's just interesting. Like people, people want things that they, you know, in life, a lot of times we want things that, you know, we can't have. Um, but most importantly, it's a grind thing. But I always say with the customer views, that is the number one thing. Social media, having them on social, that's great. It's been there. It's still important, valuable. Email. Email, you know, having a, having an email list, having a direct communication, very important. You own it. You can send out blasts as long as you're not annoying. People like to keep following you. They like to, to learn from you. And then lastly now is the reviews. It really is because people are going to search you. If they're going to, if you're an eye doctor and you're going to spend five grand an eye for LASIK or whatever the hell it is, and that's a cash business, I mean, you just pull $5,000 out or $7,000 out. You, there's no insurance there. You just, here you go. You're going to make sure you did a couple reviews on that person, hopefully, before you just let them execute your eyes. You know what I mean? Like, if that if that goes wrong, it doesn't go well. If it goes right, it's perfect. But if it doesn't go well, you know what I mean? So I always said that time and time again, it's the combination. It's social, it's email, and it's reviews. I think that's the powerhouse these days that really works. And so the beautiful thing about your tool is that it's creating content, too. You're getting the review plus content. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And like, yeah, many we times we found a little something out too. And I want to share this because this was, this was a little trick that we found out, especially since you have a lot of agency owners and stuff like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Is that, yeah. So with, as for our agency, when, when I say like an irresistible front end offer, when we, when we did it at first, we ended up going ahead and, and having them collect for free. And this didn't create a, that relationship yet that we were looking for. It was like, almost like we just gave them something and then it, but it didn't lead necessarily into the next thing. So what we ended up doing is we came up with this idea of saying, you know what, we're not going to, we're not going to charge you a monthly rate or anything like that to use the software. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, listen, take this link, copy, paste it out, send, get these video reviews in and only pay for the reviews that you actually like pay for the videos that you mm. like. And what we would do is we charge anywhere between 35 
to say $55 per video review that came through the door. Mm. And this was key because now we weren't going ahead and saying, okay, hey, set this up for $300. We're saying, listen, you're only going to pay if you like the review. If you don't like it, if you're not going to use it, then don't pay me for it. I don't want it. And so we actually built that into the software wow. where it calculates how many of the reviews the, the business owner actually wants to keep and use. And once they go ahead, approve the video right there, it, it then calculates, fills the client for you, for the agency on their behalf. So this way that agency can get paid and this way they don't have to even worry about billing or anything along that line. Trustcout just handles all that for the agency. And we built that out of need for ourselves because now we just went from telling a client, hey, you need to go doing this, to actually creating a paying relationship. Because I think there's a very big difference in agency world of the free clients, the ones who are just the freebie seekers who we all hate and despise because they waste our time right. to the ones that actually pay you money. So that, that to us was key. <laughs> so many times you get RFP. Hey, give me all your ideas and execution and strategy, and we're going to get back to you. Okay. Sure. Sure. Exactly. Run, run Google exactly. ads. Go look up YouTube ads. <laughs> Learn TikTok ads. Um, that's my strategy. Congratulations. What, what the hell are you going to, you expect me to give you all the strategy and then you're going to just bid it out to everybody and then get everybody's strategies and then just take them for free. I mean, come on, dude. Yeah. I remember seeing that time and time again, working in ABC television and working in the, in the, the agency business. When I get big brought in on some of these uh, calls, they got all these agencies pitching them all. They are taking these damn ideas and they're not working with any of these agencies. They're not working with any of them. It was just free content. I saw one of the ladies told me that we never usually work with any of these. It's just ideas. It lets us know what the future is going to be. Okay. Okay. And that's what I remember changing my uh, RFP process. I mean, we don't give too many strategies because come on, let's just be real that that's where the, that's where the value is. That's where, that's where all your effort. And that's what you've designed the business around. Why are you going to just give it to someone? Sometimes, Hey, give something for free. You know, like you said, you created an irre exactly. irresistible front end offer. So that is for in your business. I mean, if you go to their website, folks, you can like start start getting, you know, uh, positive video reviews right now. But I like what you're doing with the pricing thing for the especially for uh, uh, resellers or someone that possibly wants to white label this too. then. Correct. Exactly. Yeah, that, that was the they thing. Yeah. And, and for us, what you were talking about with RFPs. So we actually faced a serious issue with that because we would spend friggin weeks designing all these RFPs right. for these different clients that we were trying. And we. So now we, we don't even bother with our piece. We don't do that anymore. And the way that we got around that was because we use this video review and we, we have all of the clients initially go ahead, capture these video reviews. We don't even, we don't even bother because we first, we want to get paid up front for the video review process. But what, what it does more than anything is it, it takes the, out of the client's mind. Okay. Hey, send me the RFP and I'll get back to you. Instead, you're now giving the client a homework assignment where they have to go and do that homework assignment. And they're going to pay you to go and do that homework assignment. Gotcha. So now you just change this from, hey, you're going to go work for me as an agency to no, 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 no. You're going to go work for me first. We're going to have this relationship where you're going to go because I'm, I'm, the, I'm the consultant here. I'm the advisor. I'm the one that's giving the value. I'm, I'm, I'm sharing what needs to be done in order to do this process. So for me to now give this client that homework assignment, have them go out and do this first mm. and then come back to me, say, hey, I did it. What's the next steps? I just completely skipped the whole RFP nonsense, right. saved me weeks and weeks of my life from endless typing for nonsense. Right. And now I'm just getting right into the process of, of doing my job. And if someone doesn't want to do that, then they're, they're shit out of luck with working with you. Exactly. And, and that, and that's the key because it gets you away from all the freebie seekers. And then it, it, for God for sake, if, if somebody comes ahead and says, great, send me an RFP, the answer is no, because it, it's not worth my time to write the RFP unless you're willing to take these first steps. And that's gotcha. why I like the, the concept of that irresistible front end offer, mm. because you're, you're giving them this ability where they don't pay you unless it's something that they actually want. It's a low enough price point and it's, it's high enough value where 35 to $55 per review makes complete logical sense. Right. And then it brings you directly to the next stage of the process. So if you're doing social media management, boom, now you have a bunch of social media content that you can put on their page. If totally. you're doing SEO services, boom, now you have schema markups that you can do inside of the videos to start ranking those videos and add your blog posts. If you're doing any sort of service, local ranking, anything along those lines, you now already have the items that you can just use and plug and play right into anything that you're doing to do it. So you've just completed the first stage of that process. 
And the most important thing about reviews and testimonials is these are real. These aren't doctors faked up. Exactly. Hey, uh, this doctor's not real. He's a scripted doctor. <laughs> It's fucking what the hell? Right. Anyone can write a fucking pharmaceutical ad and put a yep. doctor in there. I'm uh, hey, Adam's a, uh, a neuroscientist, and he and then right below it, <laughs> they'll say Adam is actually not a neuroscientist. It'll say right that below it, he's reading a script right now. Adam is actually reading a script and has no idea what the hell neuroscience is, <laughs> but buy this pill for $35.99 per week. Um, uh, and, and, and we all take those as testimonials that we see them on TV right now, because those are one of the only advertisers yep. on TV right now. Uh, the most right. important thing is, it's just to remind yourself is that th these are real. And I think that in itself right. is very, very important. I think that the fact that these are real yep. customers and the fact, I love this, that you're giving your customer, you know, the, the a new prospect, if you want to call it, that's coming to you. Hey, here's some homework assignment. Go get some positive reviews for your business because you don't got none. Or or you have some, but you don't have the video version. And then we need this, exactly. you know? And so then now it's the next step. Right. And like you said, you're, you're weeding out the bullshit. And then you get right to yep. a ton of great content immediately to start your campaign instead of the opposite of starting the campaign and then trying to collect content along the way, which a lot of us, obviously, in the agency world, it's, it's yep. like clients always want to start, but then they never want to get the shit done. You know, it's like... Time and time right. again, we, you build a website, it's ready to launch. Client doesn't want to read the goddamn copy on the website to approve it or whatever it is. And it's like, <laughs> dude, you wanted this, right? You wanted this thing, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, it, it's just funny. Um, but like you said, in this, it's, hey, you go do homework, get that, come back to me. We're going to have a little bit of a paid relationship to start there. But then most importantly, I know you're serious. I know you're not just wasting right. my time. And we're going to have a killer goddamn campaign because we got a ton of real reviews starting the, starting the ball off right away, you know, and uh great solution, dude. I'm, I'm checking this out, bro. You got another reseller. <laughs> you got another reseller on your line. <laughs> My dude, I appreciate you. I appreciate, I love this. I really do. I think this is, I think this is not only the future, but I think that if you're an agency business, you need to take a look at things like this. Um, mm -hmm. as just even like you said, a prospecting mechanism, a prospecting exactly. sales yep. funnel mechanism to eliminate time and deal with real clients. And then, like you said, I, I really think if you had a ton, 10 great positive reviews video about your business today, your campaign, whatever it is we do, anything digital everywhere is better than, than zero. Hey, write the copy for me, Adam. And then you don't know what the hell to say. I don't know what your customers say. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, you want me to make up some yeah. shit? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know like, just start making up shit. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Start making up shit. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Instead, he has 10 <laughs> minutes of content to say, oh, Travis likes this, this, and this. Oh, he likes this and this. And then he can write better content copy. Boom. Exactly. This is the win. part that your customers are actually buying. Correct. And that is the key is this is why your customers actually purchase this product, this service, this whatever. And now you can build it into your social media campaigns, your right. copywriting campaigns, your SEO campaigns, because you know exactly what those buyers are looking for. Dude. Boom, baby. <laughs> boom, boom, bing, bong, they say in the sports car world right now. Let's go. Uh, to, uh, we're going to get into your mindset now with our top 10, my dude, Adam. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Apple or Android? Android, all the way. Android, Netflix, or YouTube? Oh, that's a good one. I'm going to say uh, Netflix. Netflix is taking over. <laughs> Instagram or Facebook? <laughs> Facebook for me. <laughs> Netflix has an incredible algorithm on content, dude. They have like a, a Facebook do. style it's algorithm. It's incredible. Chicken or steak, if you think about a good meal? Ooh, chicken. Chicken! Spotify or, I'm sorry, Spotify <laughs> or Pandora for music? Spotify. <laughs> Spotify! Laptop or smartphone if you had to get out the door right now? Laptop. Laptop! Movies or <laughs> video games? Movies. Movies. <laughs> reading books or listening to books? Ooh, I just started reading books, so I'm going to say reading books. Bang, bang. <laughs> there you go. Get the physical. If you're traveling a lot too, man, on the airplanes and things, you can, uh, you can hammer yeah, out Yeah, that's books why, because now I got the Kindle. Exactly. So I can read everything. <laughs> bang. Uh, Jeff Bezos taking over the world. Stocks or real estate? <laughs> 
for, for me, stocks, because I never stay still enough to invest in real estate. <laughs> yeah, no, for you, bro, you got to be liquid, baby. Stay liquid. Stay liquid. It's a good time to be buying right now, too, man. Our stocks have been getting clubbed. Absolutely it's, clubbed right now. Great time to buy, especially if you like the high beta names. Uh, oceans or lakes, if you're looking at another vacation spot? Ocean. Oceans. <laughs> love the ocean. When you're waking up for your day, my dude, and you're getting ready, why do you love being you? Oh, I just, I just love like what I do, you know, like I, I love the software world. I, I love being, being able to do this. I love being able to just stay focused on my mission. You know, mm. you seem like you're very driven too, dude. Hyper and still driven. have fun and still have fun <laughs> and still have fun too. Absolutely. Yeah. You get it. You know, you're going to, my, my passion is traveling. And then my second passion is, I mean, online software type of stuff. So you would never, the, 20 years ago, you would not be able to life. do both of those. 20 years ago, you would not be able to do both of those. Exactly. <laughs> you'd be stuck in one. You'd be stuck in a, you'd be in stuck a, in a, in a dungeon somewhere <laughs> building some software, or you'd be traveling like a vagabond and not have anything. So interesting. It's cool. Exactly. It's, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> like you now can be literally uh, entrepreneur, a, uh, anything you want and still travel and still explore and still do anything, um, or any other vertical of that. It's, it's crazy because of technology, the internet and the dang mobile phones and all just the incredible uh, technology of being able to get things done. Um, do you think you'll ever retire from the game of entrepreneurship startups and uh, software companies? I, I think it's impossible. I, I can't, I can't, I can't visualize myself just turned off for 20 years. I, I, I think anytime somebody turns off for 20 years, it just, it just sends them into insanity and I'd prefer not to be insane. <laughs> and I've had on the show guys, I've had some guys with some big exits on my show, like hundreds of million dollar exits and they got bored. They got bored after a couple yeah. of years. You know what I mean? So you, you, you so a lot of us that are in the game, they get, you, 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 you want to be right back in it. Um, no matter what. And also I say, if, if that's the time for you, go explore the next thing, you know, and, uh, you know, you might get tired of this. You might say, I'm done. Do you have a routine on starting your day? How do you start your day? Uh, coffee. First thing I wake up. Uh, second thing I like to meditate a little bit, uh, just for even five or 10 minutes, whatever it may be, just to right. kind of get my mind in the, the right place. Uh, from there, usually take a shower, uh, and then go right in and then focus on the tasks that don't require any other human beings to, to be able to get done. Like those are usually my strategy moments. Probably like the first hour of the day is the moments where I'm thinking what happens three months out, six months out, 12 months out from now, that's right. usually my first hour of the day. And then right after that, I get into the, the actual work stuff. So you work on the business, not in the business for that first hour. Yeah, absolutely. The big picture. That's a, that's a hard thing to do, folks. That's a hard thing to do, but it's a discipline approach. And I love that. It's uh, very important. I want to do the biggest thing, but they also say working on the business, working on the bigger picture than just getting right into firing off emails and getting into the nitty gritty, which, which we all know is going to be there. The creative uh, thinking. Yep. Creative exactly. thinking. That's a good point. That's a great, <laughs> great, great uh, perspective on it. Creative think a little bit. A couple more last questions for you, my man. Do you have a favorite app on your phone? Of do you course. have a favorite app on your phone? I hate cell phones in general. So the only thing, the only one app that I have on my phone is Spotify. That's it. Spotify, baby, <laughs> just to keep that music. I always, my favorite uh, Spotify right now, let's see what it is. It's the, uh, I'm going to pull it up. It's the uh, reggae and good vibes playlist, dude. I put this one on when I'm I was it. listening to that. Dang, synchronicity, <laughs> dogs. <laughs> synchronicity, baby. <laughs> This is one of my yes. favorites. That's one of my favorites, dude. Let's go. Me too. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> if you could sit down and chop it up uh, for dinner with anyone in the world, who would you want to sit down with? Oh, great question. Um, oh, I don't know. I actually, I, I wouldn't know. I mean, I've, I've never been like celebrity focused or anything like that or, right. or famous people focused to me. I, I mean, it's, no, nah, I've, I've never, I've never really had been like celebrity goo goo eyes. <laughs> what about sports cards? You into sports cards? You into favorite sports teams or anything like that? Baseball, Red Sox. That's there you go. <laughs> yeah, so I guess if I had to pick anybody, I'll sit down. I'll sit down with David Ortiz or Jason. Big Poppy. Oh, talk about a personality, <laughs> baby. Big Poppy, baby. Oh man. <laughs> I love that guy. I love that guy. So he's got some interesting stories, man. He's got some interesting stories. He does. <laughs> he's sitting out with you, my man. I tell you, my get the. Uh, tell you, my man. 
<laughs> Big Poppy tells you a few things. I got shot a little bit in the club, but no worries. Uh, uh, if has there been a book that has changed your life, or what's the book you're reading right now? The uh, the physical book. I think my favorite book that I read was the 10 X rule that from Grant Cardone. I love that book. It really got me to start thinking significantly bigger. I mean, it, I think the biggest thing is you start to realize the levels of wealth that exists in the world. It's like all of a sudden you start doing well. Like once you get to six figures, you're like, wow, this is amazing. I'm doing six figures. And then you realize how poor you are next to somebody who's doing seven figures. And then if once you get to seven figures, you realize that you're absolutely broke to the next level and, and so on and so on. So it just keeps yes. getting you thinking much, much larger. And I love that concept. It's so true. It, the world is full of abundance. That's what it tells you, right? Like the world is Absolutely. full of abundance. You got Mr. Jeff Bezos. You got Mr. Elon Musk. <laughs> Who knows what the next guy is going to be or gal? You don't know. You don't know. We don't know. They might not be the only next one. Next guy's going to be Travis. Let's go. I got my. I got to have my crypto come back a little more than it is right now to, to have that happen. But <laughs> let's 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 not talk about that. Let's not talk about the crypto down or anything like that. But you know, we're all in this together. We're all in this together, my friends. Exactly. You no. Know, um. At the end of the day, I, I always say this. You know, just you, if you find good entrepreneurs you like, you invest in their companies and you invest. You you invest with your dollars. You know, that's the way. I find yeah. I can do it. I, I mean, I bought Tesla stock, bought Amazon stock years ago. It's been well. The next entrepreneur you, you guys see that you enjoy, you admire, invest in them. You know, um, I, I think that's the, that's the mentality I've always taken because at the end of the day, you can't invent everything on your own. You can't. It's impossible. You can't do everything, but you can invest with them, have a good upside. And a lot of times have some downside too, like we're experiencing right now. So you, you go the ups and downs in life. That's just like in business. Um, but dude, I Absolutely. appreciate you, my dude. I appreciate you. And especially if you're an agency, you got to be taking a look at a tool like this. You got to be looking at a tool like this. Can you give our listeners, where is your favorite place for people to find more about you? Yeah, they can just go to trustscout.io. Uh, and right there, they'll be able to get a free trial, whether you're an agency or a, a small business owner listening. Uh, you'll be able to go in there, get registered and uh, be able to, to create your account, start collecting video testimonials, whether it be for you or for clients and start getting paid, especially if you're an agency. Let's go. That's trustscout.io. We're going to put that in the show notes, my dude. I appreciate your soul, bro. I appreciate your energy. I love that you explore <laughs> the world. Keep exploring, my dude. Keep pushing Absolutely. yourself. An awesome tool, brother. Folks, you've been hanging out with a legend in the game of software, entrepreneurship, and I would say life. Mr. Adam O'Leary and Travis Too Tall and Huff, we want to thank you again for your time today, and let's keep being real. What another epic episode. And uh, if you enjoyed the episode today, can you please do me a favor and subscribe to our podcast, The B-Real Show, on iTunes or your favorite podcast platform. And also take a little time today, if you don't mind, and give your boy T-Huff a review. I would really super appreciate it. And thank you so much for listening today. We're all going through a lot right now. And real-time outsource. My business is giving back to local and small businesses. Through our social media services and campaigns, we are actually helping small businesses get more exposure during these times and also when we get through these times. At the end of the day, we don't know how long this is all going to last, but most importantly, you got to think about your business right now. Take it seriously. So come check us out at realtimeoutsource.com, realtimeoutsource.com, and we would love for you to qualify and get the process started where we can take a look at your business and see if we can qualify you for some of our services. Um, at uh, little to no cost for most of the businesses. And, uh, and, and some businesses, you know, you're going to have to pay, but that's part of life, right? But most importantly is that I think this is the time, folks, that you can actually help thrive in your business. And so I would love to help you personally with our team. We're all going through a tough time right now. So take advantage of us, realtimeoutsource.com. Check us out, and we would love to do some business with you and help you with your social and digital media in 2020 and beyond.